Can you explain to people two things? One is, can Trump just say these are declassified and that makes them declassified? And secondly, can you disclassify a document but what's still in it, what's in it, like all of our spy locations, information, could that still be classified? So if you're leaving it around, while the document might be declassified, you're still putting our national security at risk because someone's reading something that is highly sensitive to our nation. So I, I tell you what, why don't you and I, when we're done with our talk here today, let's go offline and both of us will file a Freedom of Information Act request to the US government and we'll say, Hey, we hear that all those pages of classified documents that were at Mar-a-Lago are declassified, and we'd love to get a copy since now they're unclassified. And let's see what the answer is. You know what the answer is going to be? Screw you, Dean and Frank, because they're not declassified. They're not. And, and so I want to say this. The president of the United States is the ultimate classifier and declassifying authority. Yours truly when I was AD at, at the FBI, I was what's called an original classifying and declassifying authority. With regard to the FBI, I could decide within my counterintelligence program what was classified, if it was FBI material, not, not if it was some other, some other material. That's another sure. thing we need to talk about, right? But if, if the Brits gave us something or the CIA gave us something, I, I have no authority over that, right? But I, and I could also declassify, but guess what? I had to go through a process a process. I had to give a reason what I had to select from a list of reasons and I had to sign off on it. And forevermore, the document would have a stamp on it that said declassified by, and it would have my credential number from my FBI credentials and would even give a purpose. So the answer is, can the president declassify whatever he wants? Yeah, maybe, except for, except for nuclear atomic energy stuff, mm -hmm. except for stuff that comes from outside the U.S. government, which is a lot of what he gets briefed on, by the way. Um, but he'd have to go through a process, and there'd have to be markings. Cash Patel better get an attorney soon, because Cash Patel is the guy saying, I knew all about this uh, standing declassification order. I, I know all about it. Oh, good. You'll be telling a grand jury about that process, Cash.